Are you sick and tired of hearing people say, be what you want first before you have it? And you're thinking, how can I be what I want before I have it? That doesn't make any sense. If you want to find out exactly how to be what you want and attract everything you want into your life, then keep watching this video. <laughs> Welcome if you are new here, my name is Hetty and on this channel we discuss all things positive, high vibe and how to use the law of attraction to manifest the life of your dreams. If you haven't already then hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any more wonderful content like this. I'm going to get straight into today <laughs> and get straight into today's video. I've been talking too much today. So today's video is all about how you can actually be what you want before you have it, before you see those material things, those physical things come into your reality. So I know you're probably sitting there and thinking, but how do I actually be what I want? How do I actually, if I want a relationship, how do I already be the person that's in that relationship when I can't see that physical person with me? How do I be the person who is a multi-millionaire when I don't see the million pounds in my bank? It's a really, really like common question everyone asks. I asked this myself for a long time. I saw a lot of Law of Attraction videos out there and everything was saying, be what you want before you can actually have what you want. And I was thinking, yeah, but how do you actually go about doing that? It's okay saying that. How do you put that into practice? So first of all, we're going to go through a little bit of the basics of law of attraction. If you don't know what it is, this is really great to kind of run through so you can get your head around it. But also if you do know what it is, this is a great way to understand how you can actually be what you want before you have it. So the law of attraction works on a like on like basis. So like attracts like. That means that if you're a very happy, positive, fun, energetic person, you're going to attract those people, those circumstances, those experiences in your life. If you're very anxious or fearful and doubtful all the time, you're going to attract people and experiences that reflect that as well. So we don't always get in life what we want, but we always get in life a reflection of who we are. Are. Now that is a very, very important quote to remember. So when you are going about thinking about your desires, so it might be um, a house, a car, a relationship, a job, a holiday, whatever it is, you need to be as if that is already part of you, as if you've already got it. And you don't have to worry and doubt as to when it's going to come, how you're going to be when you get that. So I'm going to use the example of a relationship because it's the easiest example to understand. So if you're wanting a relationship with someone, you cannot have a successful, a fully successful relationship with that person or attract that person into your life until you are the person that you want to attract in a relationship. So let's say you've written a list of all the qualities that you want to attract in your perfect partner. Now, they might be fun, um, outgoing, generous, chatty, kind, loving. They could have all these different amazing qualities. And if you don't reflect those in yourself already, you're not going to get that from your external reality because our external reality, what we can see, everything we can smell, taste, hear, touch, that is all our physical external reality and it's all a mirror reflection of what we are putting out there. So when we are already all of those qualities and we embody those, then that means we will reflect that in a partner. We will reflect that in a job if we are wanting a secure or hard, a job where we can progress so we're hard working. So they're the qualities that we need to embody for that. So you can see why it's important to be what you want before you have what you want. If we work on a basis of, I will do what I want to do, so I will go out there, and again, I'm gonna use a relationship example, I'll go out there and I'll put myself on dating sites, I'll ask people out on dates, X, Y, and Z, so I'll do it first, then I'll have it, then it'll come to me, and then I can be the person in the relationship. That's not how it works. It's the backwards way around, but it's the way that we have all been taught for a long time. So first of all, you need to be that person. You need to be the person that you would want to be in a relationship. So do you want to be fun? Do you want to be caring? Do you want to be generous? Do you want to be spontaneous? Be and embody that first to attract the right person or the right circumstance. Again, we're using the relationship example because it's easiest to explain. But then once you do that, you will have 
that relationship come into your life and then you'll get to do all the things that you've wanted to do in that relationship and it will be an incredible relationship because you will already embody all of those things that you want to be there is no looking outside of yourself anymore for everything that you might want and that is where often a lot of the time even when we attract things into our life they can fall away or they can end up taking a turn down a path that you didn't want and maybe you get unhappy and frustrated at times with different situations again this can be relationships jobs houses because you aren't already embodying that it's not who you really are <laughs> so we need to first become what we really want in order to attract that into our lives now, because the law of attraction, the law of physics works on the basis of vibrational frequencies. It's really important to embody whatever vibrational frequency it is of your desire that you're wanting. So if you're wanting a relationship, you need to be vibrating on the frequency of love, of care, of all the things that you would want to be on the same level as you would want to attract from a partner to you. So what do you want your partner to give you? You need to give in order to get. You cannot just get, get, get and say, I want someone to do this for me. I want the job to give me this much money. I want the house to be like this for me and all oh, for me, 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 me. We need to give, we need to give and be that first in order for that to come back into our lives. Now, contradictory to a lot of thought out there, the more we give, the more we actually get back. So we need to give the vibrational frequency of what we want before we track that back. If we're giving the vibrational frequency out there of frustration or anger or anxiety, then everything and every person can feel that vibrational frequency. We all give it off. Every single thing in this world has some level of vibrational frequency and living animals, humans often have the biggest vibrational frequencies and we're very sensitive to that. We can sense that in other people. So that's why you can often tell when someone is angry with you and you maybe not spoken to them for a few weeks, but you just have that sense that something is there. Now that is because they are putting that vibration out there of anger towards you so you can feel it it's all in your subconscious a lot of the time you can't even tell what's going on but you just know you just know they're angry at you now when you get that vibrational frequency off someone what does it make you want to do you don't want to then go out there and be like oh hello i'm just gonna be lovely you know that it attracts from you the same sort of anger and resentment and frustration on the same level of vibration vibrational it's really hard to say that word vibrational frequency out there to that other person so you can see that when someone acts in a way towards you you often act in a way back because it's the same vibrational frequency that you're both on because it's like attracts like so we need to really embody and be what we want and who we want first now a great way to actually do this you can write a list down so you could write a list of um, whatever it is that you want, you could write a list of if it's a relationship, your perfect partner, if it's your job, all the dream qualities of a job, your house, your dream house qualities. Now you can imagine yourself being in that feeling already and acting as if you already have that thing. So if you want that house, how would you act now that you have your dream house? Would you be proud to have people around to your house? Would you love it? Would you um, be decorating all the time? Like what would you be doing? Would you be having people over and celebrating and socializing? What would you be doing and start doing those things already? Now you might be thinking, but I'm not in my dream house or I've not got that partner to do those things with. You need to do them already before that comes into your life and it will attract whatever circumstance you want in your life quicker. If it's a relationship, if you're thinking, well, when I'm in a relationship, I'll be so happy and loved. Feel that already within yourself. If you if you want to be going to the movies or going for food, do that yourself. You don't need someone else to do that with. Do that and embody that first and that person will come into your life. I promise you is the, <laughs> the best way to get what you want a lot quicker. Now, don't do any of this in the wanting and having to get something back from all of it, but just do it because it is who you are. Make it part of your personality, make it part of who you wanna be. And once you actually start doing this consistently, you'll start to notice changes in your life and you'll start to notice changes other people will as well. And they'll say, 
oh my gosh, you know, you're, uh, they, they'll want to give you love, they'll want to give you money, they'll, the jobs will want to come into your life, all these opportunities of your dream house pops on the market, it'll all want to come into your life because you are giving out the vibrational frequency of what you want already. And you, by doing that, you are saying to the universe, you do not need to give me anything. I totally trust you. I'm going to be this, embody this and give all that I can out there and be it already because I don't need <laughs> to see it to believe it. I can believe it and I will see it. And I promise you this has worked so many times for me when I have wanted a house, a relationship, a car, a job. Every single time this has worked for me. Every single time I've thought, okay, I'm just going to be this already. I trust that that's already in my life and it's going to come into my physical reality at whatever point I want it and at whatever point it is ready for me and I am ready for it to come into my life because then once it is there we can enjoy it so much more the experience will be because you and the person or you and the job or you and the house you're on the same level of frequency so there's going to be no mismatching there's going to be no doubts or arguments or fears there because you're on the same level as it so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have then give it a like just to let me know you enjoy my content and until next time keep spreading the positive vibes and love and i will see you soon Mwah!